I wanted to explain that in uh, Minecraft there are two different, two main modes that you can play the game in, two main ways you can play the game. One is called uh, creative and the other is called survival. And the private Minecraft server that I've uh, set up is running in survival mode. That is to say uh, a very uh, peaceful version of survival mode where there's not a lot of threats or monsters or anything like that. <laughs> but uh, creative mode is another option. So I wanted to quickly show the difference between those two. If you uh, start up your Minecraft uh, if you start up Minecraft and choose single player and you decide to create a new world, we'll call this one uh, uh, Creative Test. You can then choose the game mode right here by clicking through these different choices. So you can see survival is kind of the basic one. You have to look for resources. You can, you can make things, you can craft things. And you also have to be careful about your health and your uh, hunger level. Hardcore is is a, just a kind of a variation on survival, but is uh, really really hard to go do. And then creative, where you have, as it says, unlimited resources, free flying, <laughs> and destroy blocks instantly. So let's take a look at what creative looks like. We've already talked about some of the basic tools and and such that you get in Minecraft in an earlier tutorial. So we're not going to go over that in this one. We're just going to assume that you know some of the basics about moving uh, around and what you've got. All right, here we've landed in a Minecraft world. Oh, nice. It's beginning to be built here. This is one with uh, quite a big ocean. And I guess we're kind of on the side of a cliff here, looks like. And uh, if you go to your inventory in creative mode, you'll see you've got everything you could possibly want here. These are all the different things you could have uh, in Minecraft. In the so-called survival mode of Minecraft, you have to make a lot of these things. You have to make axes and shovels and hoes and <laughs> leather pants and things like that. But in the creative version of Minecraft, you just have them available to you. Uh, compasses, cakes, <laughs> all sorts of stuff. And that is pulled up by choosing, by uh, pressing the E key. Oh, a lava bucket. That sounds fun. Mine carts with furnaces in them, all sorts of things. Now, the other thing is uh, about creative is that uh, when you're in creative mode, you can fly. Now, I have to say, I've actually never tried flying before, but I've been curious about it. So let me get into kind of an open area here. And you're supposed to be able to fly by pressing the space bar and hitting it twice. And then once you're up and flying, you use the regular direction keys to determine which direction you want to go in. So W moves you forward. You can see the world being generated out in the distance there. Ooh, this is fun. So in the creative mode, you can actually fly. I'm not sure how high you can go. Let's see if I can get above the clouds here. I'm going up and up <laughs> and up. Oh my, I'm above the clouds. Oh, this is getting a little scary. <laughs> now to get back down, you use the shift key. So we use the space bar to get up here and the shift key will allow us to descend back to Earth. So in creative mode, you can fly, which is a pretty sweet capability. <laughs> and as I said before, in creative mode, you have access to all sorts of stuff. So that's the kind of the main thing about creative mode. You have access to all of this stuff. As you can see, all kinds of stuff. And you can fly. Oh, also in creative mode, you're virtually indestructible. It's almost impossible to kill yourself in uh, in creative mode. So even if you like uh, jump out of a tree here, you know it has no impact. Oh, and the other thing in creative mode is you can destroy things really quickly. Blocks just go boink, 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 <laughs> and trees. I don't know, boink, just with one hit. <laughs> so those are the those are the main characteristics of creative mode. Now, if we uh, get out of creative mode 
go back here once again. We're just playing by ourselves. Creative and survival can be uh, played in either single player or multiplayer. And as I mentioned before, the multiplayer server, the private one we set up, uh, is a survival mode, but it's a very easy survival mode. Let's create a new world here, and this time we're going to call it uh, Survival Test. And we're going to leave this set to uh, Survival, and if we look at uh, these options, yep, World Normal, okay, okay, okay. Uh, so we're going to go for game mode survival, the survival test, create that new world. So as you'll see in survival, you have to worry about your health and you can die and things like that. Oh my, those are wolves. <laughs> and if you don't annoy them, they shouldn't attack you. But uh, you don't want to spend much time around the wolves because they can attack you if they get... Uh, if they get aggravated so and they can kill you as Ian has found out so oh see I've already hurt myself <laughs> all right I'm swimming around here let me get out of the water so in survival mode you have uh, a, a row of hearts and a row of uh, uh, sort of uh, pork choppy things there and get out of the open here <laughs> and um, so you have to maintain those things or else uh, you'll die and survive in this former survival mode the regular form of survival mode now in the private server we've got uh, it's pretty hard to die but in regular survival mode it's actually pretty easy uh, if you just <laughs> if you're not careful especially when the sun goes down because monsters will spawn and they like to uh, attack you and kill you. But also in survival mode, you can uh, you can kill yourself by, let's say, walking off a cliff. Let's see if I've got a cliff here that I can show you. Let's see. Is this one tall enough? Yeah, maybe not. I'm looking for a tall cliff. Ooh. Oh, you can drown. That's one way you can die. I'll show you that. All right, here I am down in the murky depths, and you can see the little water bubbles popping. I just wanted to show you what it looks like to die in survival mode. <laughs> Uh-oh, here I go. Uh-oh, there go my hearts. Yep, yep, there go my hearts. Oh, that hurts. Oh, oh no, oh geez, here we go. <laughs> you died. All right, and when you die, you can choose to come back into this world by respawning. That's sort of being like being reborn in the same world. And then you should be back at the same point you started. So here I am back at the point I started. Actually, the wolves are still around. And, uh, <laughs> and that's how you die. Now, in survival mode, there's also monsters that can come after you. I might try to show you those in a later video. But that's the main difference between the two modes, between creative and survival. And as I said, on our private server, we're playing survival, but without monsters.